Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, like always, thank you so much for all the feedback, um, all the comments uh, that you've been giving me. I truly, truly appreciate it. In our today's uh, session, um, what we're going to look at is something that I've been getting a lot of DMs for, which is how to use the study hub because I have now, I think, mentioned study hub uh, on a multiple uh, occasions in, in my recent exam tips and videos. And if you've not watched them, I would urge them that you do watch these uh, very short videos and maybe a brief exam tip video uh, where I talk about how you can crack your exam. So people reached out, uh, how do we use the study hub? So again, I'm going to try and use um, our actual study hub platform to show you what are the various features and how can you really use it optimally uh to um, you know help you with your uh, exams now uh, before we start to look at that can i request you if this is the first time you've come here to please hit the subscribe button uh, and the bell icon so that whenever i do any videos and i assure you i will only do videos which are going to help you in your acca as well as your overall finance and accounting journey at least you will come to know all right so moving on to uh, study hub now, what you see on, on, on my screen here is the study hub. Um, how do you access it is that you can again do it from my ACCA, click on the study hub and it should uh, get you here. You just need your uh, ACCA credentials for that, your user ID and your password. So, of course, there is a dashboard here. There are, um, and by the way, this is one of the finest LMSs that I have come across, right? And while at FPA, we also have our own LMS, but I really, really like this one uh, quite a lot because there are a lot of things that you can do here. So you've got your uh, dashboard where all the, all the programs that you are currently studying for, all the papers that you're currently studying for will come up here. And then there are various tabs that which ones are in progress, which are the ones that you've not started, which are the ones that you've completed, and then any for saved for later and expired. Now, I'm hoping that none of them will expire for you guys until you've become an ACCA. So I have, uh, you know, because I'm doing multiple papers at FPA, so I, you know, I was looking at tax. So maybe I can show you how uh, this paper works. So let's say I click on study okay now it takes us in the uh, uh in the lms now this is the first screen that you see so you've got uh, on the left hand side all the various options you've got chapters flashcards quizzes practice search we'll look at them as well uh, in 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 a little bit of time but before we do that let's look at the main content here so you've got your table of content You've got your confidence levels, you've got your notes, you've got your bookmarks, and you've got your highlights, okay? So let's come back to table of contents. Now, tax obviously is a very, very long syllabus, right? So this um, uh, this one has got about 23 odd chapters. Now, let's say you want to start studying for tax. Now, um, if I talk about the content on the study hub, it is very good. However, I do feel that it is maybe a little too brief and that's why it's best to use the study hub along with, let's say, maybe another content like Kaplan or BPP like we do at FPA, right? However, look, right now, we are going to look at all the various features that are here on the study hub. So the first one is, let's say, I um, let's go, I go to chapter two. Okay, now if I go to the chapter two, let's say I go to introduction. Now you can see that it gives you a very nice brief uh, and it talks about all the bits here. Now let's say I've studied this and I am I'm fairly, fairly uh, confident that, you know, this I've understood as a concept. So what you can do is that you can rate yourself here, right? Uh, and then you can move on to the next bit, which is, let's say, uh, individual payers. Now, what's an individual payer? Study them, read them. Now, but let's say I am not very confident about this one. So you can click on low confidence. You can move to the next bit, which is now uh, chargeable income. What is chargeable income? I think I've understood it. Okay, so medium. I go to the next one, exempt income. Now, exempt income, I'm thinking, you know what? I really want to make sure that I have some of these 
highlighted for myself so you know i have highlighted these right um i may even want to make a note for myself that you know very important for the exam remember the list okay i've just added this here um and let's say the next one uh hi okay and uh next one uh this is something that i probably want to maybe look at it at a later stage as well so i've bookmarked this okay and then again confidence continue right now what we're doing here is that we are as we are going through the content we are marking our understanding whether we've understood whether we have anything that we want to study again any quick notes you know like how you do it in a textbook exactly all of that happening here and how can you see that if i go to the confidence level right you can see within the four bits i have uh, within the uh, for the four bits that i've marked for myself uh, all of these are high confidence but there are two areas which i am not very comfortable about so therefore when i mark these i know that you know direct indirect taxes i was not very confident at that time and maybe after you've you know done three four more chapters you probably find it a lot better so you will come here and then you will try and revise it and see if you have understood it better now if this time you've understood better you can now convert it into high confidence and then you can continue right the same is the case with so you've done your confidence level so you can see the idea should be that most or at least all of it right uh, i would love that all of it should but at least at least most of it should be in high confidence maybe some in medium confidence but not very many in low confidence okay and uh, then you can see notes so you can see that yes in this area i have made a note for myself very important for the exam so i will go here again and i'll say oh yes i have also highlighted right because this is also something that you will see right so i'll click here and i know these were the three points that i've highlighted so that's the reason why i told you i love the you know the functionality of uh, study hub super super well done right so it really is very intuitive it helps you keep a track of what you're doing and what you're not doing so you're done with these right so this is all the bits that you have to go through you've studied everything right now the next bit so this is of course all the chapters that are there right so you can look at there are all the chapters that are there there are some additional resources which is a glossary of all the items all the um, definitions etc etc now coming to the flashcards now flashcards are uh, i don't know how helpful it is for people for example i am not a big fan of direct taxes but maybe you are someone who would like to know what's a direct tax right so direct tax is da 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 now this one is obviously uh, given in a way that it's a test but usually what's an indirect tax or what's a capital tax or what's a revenue tax or income tax right so it is a flash card is just a very uh, quick one liner to tell you what exactly the concept is so you've got about 48 odd for the taxation uh this is my favorite part which is the quizzes right for every chapter you've got a quiz and uh, there are five questions right so again you can actually look at the quiz here you can see it is being timed so you know exactly how much uh, time you're spending right and you can just to confirm let's say i'm just going to confirm everything all right done right so you can see uh by the way law of probability right uh, there is one for every five right uh, every uh, one for every uh four wrong anyway so you can see here right that uh, it has told us that uh, this is the question and this is where you are wrong you can go in you can see why you are wrong so all taxpayers must file a return da 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 da, da. so it will tell you exactly where you are going wrong right so it gives you a feedback that not it's just not that a is the correct answer but why a is the correct answer and guys that is the most important thing you really need to understand why 
you are going wrong because if you don't understand that you will uh, keep repeating the same mistakes right so therefore make sure you've understood where you're going wrong right so that was your quiz uh, and you've got uh, quizzes after every chapter really good quizzes please make sure that you've done all of them there is also something called as practice now practice will have your long questions short questions you can see right you've got your uh, long questions uh, like constructed response questions as well so you can do the whole question here itself right so you can see you've got your uh, long question given to you right and then you can plan your answer you can confirm your answer so point being is that uh, you've got a lot of things that you can do uh, here right so you're done with your practicing here most importantly i am not not so much of a fan of the long question but yes the quiz is definitely and in the practice section as well you still have these questions which are again uh you know quizzes or you know mcqs type so i will suggest that do all of them right the last functionality that is over here is search let's say you want to maybe revise capital gains right so i do a capital gain search and you can see all the topics where capital gains is there it will all come up right so you can very easily search for the items and then you can revise them right so so this is your study hub guys right so again what i have constantly be telling students is that use the study hub as an additional resource not the only resource at least for now uh, i feel that uh, there could be more bits that uh, you know still needs adding here or maybe uh, it's not it's not enough yet right so therefore use your kaplan or a bpp and then complement it with study hub here the primary thing that you have to do is look at the quizzes look at the practice area uh, and then you if you want to spend some time on chapters the revising content uh, some of the areas which you're not comfortable with maybe look at those in the chapters and maybe in the practice area as well all right so look i hope you found this uh, video useful if you have can i urge you to please share it with your friends because i know a lot of people are still struggling to find out how to use a study hub uh, but uh, please make sure that you are using it on that note all the very best for your exams and thank you so much bye bye